creature. You look like you could take to the sky at any moment. Listen closely, for I can grant you the ability to soar like a falcon. Oh, I say so many things. Who can keep track of what fool acts on what? That man clearly didn't ask me to super duper swear. But for you, my promise is the super duperist. Goodbye, O oh Lord of Wind. Sigurd's wrath! My vines are broken. My power is unleashed. <laughs> With its own deliverance! Ready to advance, ready to defend. You, noble creature, you look like you could take to as sure as the sea is green. But hold still. I'm there! The charm is complete. Go on, test your new powers. For your first goodbye, O oh Lord of Wind. Don't forget, you'll fly highest and truest if you start with a running leap. The higher the cliff, the... Worm. My prison undone. Your life to father. <laughs> Sigurd strength in view me. the desire to free your spirit, as I burn with the longing to flee this encasement. Ah, oh, I like to keep my visitors on their toes indeed. But in your case, most blessed spirit, never a fib passes these lips. Cleanse yourself with fire and you won't regret it. You are a curse! We four powerful beings all have been trapped here to seal the entrance of yonder cave. Until all of us are freed by our favored element, the cave remains impenetrable, and what lies within remains trapped, same as we. But talking is hardly the end of it. I also grant great fortune to those bold enough to address me. But first, you must prove your worthiness, your spiritual valor, by freeing yourself of all your worldly possessions. Burn them, burn them to ash, and watch your spirit soar. Ta-da, traveler! And don't forget, to find the true rewards of life, you must absolutely burn every... with a fight. No glory in this death. One look 
look of you, mighty paladin of the waves, and your destiny is clear. You were meant to swim the seas. Of course, of course. Assuredly you do. I, mighty statue of the cliffs, to grant you a tedious eons-long job. A task more fit for a dog. We must prevent what lives within from escaping until due penance is done. But we but we are utterly trapped without our preferred elements to free us. Farewell, ruler of the deep. Don't forget to test out your new power. Swim deep! Fresh air upon my scales. Now to test out these long, petrified limbs. Your grave opens to welcome you. The caves unlocked. The demon's done. Let's go inside and have some fun. I hope we haven't freed a terror. That would be an all. Mm -hmm. I can't even smell the She's got a lair on the beach, does she? That's Jake's body. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Red and orange, yellow and green, the finest veggies Sai Seal's ever seen. Careful, comrade. I think I sense a sorcerer in you, but... But what'll you do if a pack of wild necromantic wolfhounds attacks? I assume you address me for a reason? Only fools believe. skeletons crawled out of the ground, encircling us. Naught but a trifle for us Legionnaires, what? We fought like lions, slaying three, four, undead with every blow. I say, impressive. It is spectacular indeed to behold how quickly your powers grow. Do continue to pursue the depths of your potential with relentless resolution. Forswear the pitfalls of morality. Forswear both good and evil, the promises of duty and ambition. Let power be the end of its own means, and nothing in this world will be able to stand in your way. And you have earned your ticket home. And there we have it. The weak-mindedness that, like a cancer, eats away at the foundations of strength and dominion. Know ye then, weak-minded ones, that only if you cast aside all desire and instead focus on the utter mental and physical mastery of this purpose, I have my own. As do you, that much is clear. So, let us continue our journey. 
for it is in the journey that purpose takes shape. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Good to see you. My brave troops were just telling me how they proudly vanquished the undead near the lighthouse. Yep, quite the pair of heroes you have there. Bravest guards we've met, like lions. Yes, I bet legionnaires can impress even source hunters. Now, thank you, Lieutenant. All in the day's work. So good to see you again, source hunter. They must come from somewhere, from some vile source. I could... How can I help you, my friend? And what might those be? So the Sparkmaster 5000 has been reduced to scrap, has it? A shame, really. But if your actions saved lives... More holes than a slice of this fine... What? Oh, it's you! What news? Wait here, I'll get my beat. Oh, wait! Oh, yes! The f they just informed me that they cleared the cave of all undead presents, so I gave them the reward as promised. They just left town. The rest of the world needs saving, too. Oh, they truly are fabulous. Praised all divines, for a bright light now shines in this dread, dreary cave that was marked as my grave. Oh, beautiful girl, the brightest star yet! You have to become a Belagaret. Oh, ignorant innocent, tis I, Belagar, the greatest practitioner of magic by far. There isn't a spell, no incantation arcane, that is not stored in my miraculous brain. I, I a Belagaret! A woman so blessed that her head she may rest against the red-hot confines of... To you I'll be undyingly devoted. In the softest of silks you'll be sensually coated. Sounds exciting. I'm in. Go for it. I won't stop you. Sweet lovely maiden, with gems I'll thee laden. My love and my lust, I owe you this debt. For as of now, you're a Belagaret. Twere the vagaries of youth that landed me here. De devils I summoned, a demonic quartet. Alas, that they posed too big a threat. I was soon overcome, nigh unto death. He saved my life with wild, wondrous magic, and yet the outcome was dreadfully tragic. The demons I summoned, they guarded my prison. But after long last, a champion has risen. So you mean you don't know the patriarch of wizards? The devoted companion of fire-breathing lizards? A jetpack he gave the dragon commander. Aye, I can tell you with absolute candor that he gave him a mighty empire. So hie thee to a store and take a good gander at the amazing spectacle that is dragon commander. Who is counting the years or even the centuries? This isn't the worst of penitentiaries. Rifts I have run, in dreams I have seen, thousands of kingdoms and galaxies obscene. Furthermore, I devised these Belagarets, the choicest of ladies a man can get. 
Yeah, and soon so shall I, though don't say goodbye. I'll be out in the wilds, in the woods, in the dales. There I may meet you and spin you new tales. So let us prepare, my savory lasses. I mean to depart, so move your sweet asses. To be my a and and my the most and do not forget women. about my scissors and combs. We'll what a joy it is to be a fellow The presence. most favored of women. Malagar is everyone's presence. Sweet Belagor, when I sleep I dream of you. When I wake I long for you. You are quite in luck, yes, quite in luck, for my friends, if I had more of them, would call me Pen. If you ever feel like conversing over sunset or sunrise, you can find me here on this very beach. My nothing old Pence Pence loves more than sharing stories, anecdotes, ideas, and opinions. What don't I? His name I do not know, but I can tell you he was a very experienced pearl diver. But a few po Oh, I'm so glad you asked, for this is where the story grows extra juicy. He was talking, talking to those watcher statues on top of the cliff. We'll grant you a wish, they said. I want to swim like a fish, he said. Ta-da! You can now breathe underwater, they said. So down, down, down he dived. I guess the wish was a bust. I know that for sure. Yesterday, I was enjoying the mid-afternoon sun when I heard a strange gurgling. I look Oh, not so much. They've been here longer than I have by far. And if I listen closely, I can hear them talking to people sometimes. Leaving already? But I know plenty more. Just ask. Come back. Oh, well, it was great meeting you. Don't be a stranger. You're my best friend. Can you imagine risking life and limb for mere riches? Every tadpole aspires to be a frog. Ambition is what drives the world. No doubt, any risk is worth the possibility of achieving one's dreams. Sorry, pal, but not a soul's permitted to disturb the enlightened one. On.
is at hand! This is the end for you! Heating up. What's that gleam? <laughs> this seems to be the location mentioned in Evelyn's diary. It looks like it, but where's the entrance? Uh, excuse me, you're standing just exactly in my sun. Me? Oh, I'm long retired now. Enjoying the sunshine is far preferable to gutting rabbits over silly stones, after all. But they say a sorcerer's work is never done, but I seem to have finished mine quite in time to enjoy my golden years. Sauce murder, hmm. Cecil. Oh. I don't want more certainly, though I haven't practiced in quite a few years. All you're giving me a strange sort of look, my friend. It should be our duty to end your wicked life. But you seem just so harmless. Agreed. Abstain from sorcery and you'll have no problem with the likes of us. Oh, sauce hunter, are you? Oh. <laughs> Go on, then. Didn't you read the spell, my friend? We who step through yonder gate, the hunters hate. Eh? Doesn't sound like your sort of crowd, does it? Oh, brown hair, nasty temper, big staff, huh? Friend of yours? No, no, don't push me, Sauce Hunter. I'd like to go back to enjoying the sun. Eh? Trust me, there's nothing in that cave worth dying over. And frankly, oh, do you really need me to get into the tiresome details? I was given a bit of gold to keep people, as you, out. So that's what I You aren't planning on going where you ought not to go, are you? Appreciate, my friend. Still, I must insist, there's nothing in that cave worth your notice. Be that as it may, I really must insist that you move on from here. I'd like to get back to my sun bath, and I'm sure you'd like to get back to annoying innocent civilians. I'm getting too old for this. Fine, fine, do as you wish. And if anyone asks how you got in, tell them their guard was gone fishing. Come on in, open the damn gate. We ain't got all bleeding. Oi! 
Is you the one what locked this here gate? We need to speak to Evelyn. Well, myself, I need a hand choosing drapes for me kitchen windows. But since my lady seems to have barred her gates to the likes of us, why don't I reckon if you don't already know, that may be above your pay grade. Can't you recognise a fellow immaculate when you see one? Just because I got twice your strength in my little toe, don't... Is that right, small bones? Maybe you can give me a single good reason for I rip your arms out. Fair enough, small bones, fair enough. Let the good lady know we look forward to meeting with her, will ya? These fellows are so focused on their work, they seem to be impervious to any Stop. other distractions. Even the hollering of orcs couldn't shake them out of their strange stupor. In the name of the conduit. Who goes there? In the name of the conduit.
Lair of the Scorpion. your soul. Who authorized this little trick of yours? Counselor Jake, made undead. How dare you waste your time on petty tricks while Bracchus Rex is still underground? Have you forgotten your task? Leandra, I... I wasn't expecting you. The Counselor, he's... If I had known his fate concerned you, I... Silence! You will address me by my title, you ungrateful little girl. As will I, oh conduit. Let me stress how lovely it is to see your face once more. Even in my present condition, I... Your function has been served, Counselor. I thank you for your efforts. 
I live. I died only for your cause. I do so despise dealing with one matter twice, Evelyn. I won't tolerate another such misstep. Pray that my ire will subside. Go on, pray. Curse your stupidity, Evelyn! Look over there! Your foolish games have brought Source Hunters into our very midst! I have no time for these distractions. Bracchus Rex's resurrection is at hand. Deal with these insects and join me. Understand? Of course, O oh Holy Conduit! I will deal with them swiftly! See to it that you do. You! Your stomping through my affairs has cost me dearly. More dearly than you'll ever know. What a pleasure it will be to see the source shred your every last sinew. You mean my bloodstone, I suppose. Ha! It was named like that for a reason, Source Hunter. I'll put it simply. We start with Starstone, a pretty gem, but hardly special. It contains a potential, though, known only to the enlightened few. If imbued with blood, Starstone contains the power to heal. A life given to the stone is a life one can give to another. To save a great life, a great life must be sacrificed. This is what the Conduit has taught us. Yes, a sorcerer, disciple of blood, chaser of life everlasting. For a true sorcerer, death is but an inconvenience to rid oneself of, Hunter. Bracchus Rex, centuries in his grave, will walk again, healthy as a newborn babe. That is our power. The power of sorcery! That wretch is but a thrall, a tool. But the conduit trusted him. I was determined to find out why and resurrected him. His unwillingness to cooperate has proven something of an annoyance. But no matter. We're nearly through, aren't we, Jake? Just a little more pain. She is our leader. Leandra is her name. The Conduit is her title. She aims to bring about... But no, you are not worthy of such knowledge. The bird does not explain to the worm why he was the greatest sorcerer ever to have lived. His power outmatches us all. The secrets he carries within him are phenomenal. He will aid us in our task, Hunter. All you have seen, all we are trying to do, this is but the beginning. Considering the imminent turn of the tide, Source Hunter, you should trust me when I say you're better off dead. Bracchus Rex is rising, and soon Source will live again.
mighty staff.
May the pain wrought by sword and sorcery stalk this stiff, stirring strumpet beyond the shores of death. She dabbled with flesh like a child with its pudding. She was deaf to the screams of her victims as she made the scalpel glide through exposed limbs with the, the true necromancer. It is life he wants to command. Immortality. Achieve this, and the screams of agony will not have thundered forth from tortured throats in vain. They will be forgotten in the maelstrom of time eternal. There. You keep your minds on a tighter leash than a priest his hidden desires. What glory be this noble pursuit, tainted as it may be by the blunders of simpletons like Evelyn. So now to pursue said promise with haste and determination. Source Hunter, you have done it, haven't you? You've discovered the fate of Counselor Jake. By the gods, no one could have predicted such a dark turn of events. This is worse than my deepest fears made manifest. Forgive me, this news just so very upsetting. This thing, it was the king of tyrants. I, I do, I do indeed. Bracchus would unseat the king of demons in sheer perfidy and malice given half a chance. The possibility of his return is more than I can bear. And Ikara, that she has been dragged into this sorry business adds insult to insufferable injury. There have long been rumors that Bracchus's corpse was interred in the vaults beneath the abandoned Church of the Seven, and that place is crawling with undead these days, so the rumors may well be true. Where Leandra goes, the dead rise left and right, and even in death, the long-lost tyrant's corruption appears to persist. Come to think of it, did anyone in Evelyn's lair mention the name Cassandra? It's nothing, Hunter. Nothing. My mind is reeling, but I... I'll feel that she is a great woman, Hunter. A champion of all that is good and pure. She may have killed Jake, but then again... The man turned out to be a vile sorcerer. I can only surmise that she is on to her sister's sinister schemes, which makes me fear for her safety more than anything else. Leandra. I know her, though I haven't seen her in years. As you know, she and Ikara are sisters. She's as smart as ten wizards put together, Hunter. An opponent to be feared. Now, you said Jake and Evelyn called her the Conduit, didn't you? In that case, she may just be the elusive head of the Immaculates. There's a village in the forests north of Sycile where a new religion has taken hold. Its followers call themselves Immaculates. This village is called Silverglen. And if my suspicions turn out to be correct, there is sorcery at work there. Alas, I haven't the foggiest. Another sorcerer, perhaps? was simply another victim of Leandra's ploys. The Legion didn't find a second body at the scene of the crime, so maybe he escaped with his life after all. And I will see if I can find out more about Ikara's involvement. But in the meantime, please, please pursue Leandra to the old church in the east and stop her before she can raise Bracchus. I beg of you. Bracchus Rex's name alone is enough to turn our friendly neighborhood wizard into a scaredy cat. I wonder why this ancient spectre spooks him so. Ahu doesn't strike me as the type to scare very easily. And so the mystery is solved. Councillor Jake was murdered by this so-called white witch Ikara. But as it stands, I guess our next concern is Bracchus Rex. Then we know what we must do next. Pursue Leandra and stop her before she brings Bracchus Rex back to life. Agreed. If Bracchus is half as dangerous as Jake and Evelyn claimed, we must prevent his ever seeing the light of day again. Oh, 
fancy that. A sauce hunter barging in when the lady of the house is fully dressed. Aaron has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. What? Oh, it's you! What news? What? You found it? Oh, this is excellent news. Where is it then? Give it here. Careful that it doesn't wind up in the wrong hands again, Mr. Mayor. Wonderful. Oh, it's simply wonderful. Come, come. You must let me thank you somehow. Um, I've got it. A free month's honorary membership to the Sicil Library. <laughs> well, I suppose as much as any other Thaddeus, Rich, or Harold, a shameful spot upon the history of Rivalon. As loath as I am to admit it, Sicil was once quite a hub of the Despot's supporters. Some even say his corpse was cast beneath the foundations of the abandoned church in the north. Oh, she's a dear girl, a dear girl indeed. She's got a little cabin in the cooler forest, not so far to the north of here, in fact. I hope she hasn't got mixed up in all this ugly business with the Counselor. By Shadow World Shaper, this bedeviled star. The spud clubbing, you've got an eye for farm potatoes. Can we please attend to more Let urgent move matters? The cheese. The excuse is more holes than a slice of this fine gourmet bear. I can tell you if you wish, but you'd have to listen to the tale of my life, because my future, such as it is, is rooted deeply into my history. Yes. Let's get this over with. Once upon a time, I was a king in a land of beauty to the east. A land of tigers and slender towers, of deserts and forests, of sun and all the world's wealth. I was a young king, handsome and all-powerful. I knew my life as a sovereign would be self-indulgent, but also a self-delusory one if I weren't to marry for love. And so a handful of years went by. The king's throne I myself occupied, whereas the queen's throne remained empty but for the court's cats that would nap the afternoons away upon its velvet cushions. But then one day, a young woman visited my kingdom. She was a poetess and a storyteller. People flocked to her, listened to her every word as if receiving mantras from the divines. Hiraka. How I miss her still. Miss the brilliance of her mind that was both as sparkling and as unbreakable as the diamonds that adorned her body. Oh, and how I miss her body. A thousand artists I could have commanded show me beauty. But she would have effortlessly surpassed their every endeavor and curving her lips into a smile make them break their sculptures in tearful impotence. And yet, true happiness, that commodity more precious and even more fleeting than the dominion of kings, it was an unparalleled horror. Scores of physicians flocked to my bedside. They traveled from realms across the seas hoping to cure the mighty Jehan, but none of their potions took effect. That, Hunter, is a tale for later. I realize I haven't answered your initial question yet. Why it is that I chase time like a lioness its prey. But yes, let's get this over with. That, Hunter, is a tale for later. Of course you do. Oh, it doesn't just happen around here. It happens everywhere. And that is because those who perform feats of necromancy don't know their history. What was art has become artifice. What had meaning lost it. My ultimate purpose. Yes. Perhaps I shouldn't have mentioned that. Suffice to say that I do not live like others do. I do not live for happiness, for the joys these earthly hours may bestow. 
Soon I must confront my purpose. Or perish. I am not from any place anymore. I go where my quest leads me. Besides, the name would mean nothing to you. The glorious city in the glorious kingdom where I was born. I remember them well, the sandstone castles, hewed like the very sun that batters their battlements without rest. Yes, I can see them still, though when I try to focus on their details, like mirages they dissolve upon approach. Time, for a thousand reasons, and for one especial. The thousand obvious ones are list with pleasure. The special one, that is my secret to keep. One, their scourge taints the natural world. Two, their machinations irreversibly corrupt minds. Three, their perversions seek to end all beauty. Four, their schemes unhinge the fabric of space and time. Five, their presence distorts all intrinsic harmony. Hunter, I could find you cross-dressed under the spell of a dominant goblin, yet when next we'd meet there'd be no questions asked. I have my secrets. Undoubtedly, you have yours. They are more prey awaits. Who would have thought it? Jehan, an all-powerful king, stricken by a horrid plague, the memory of which plagues him still. No wonder. From the sound of it, he was at death's door. The higher your station, the deeper you may fall. He may live, but clearly Jehan is a king no longer. Daemon Daemonium, do you now? Yours is this mistake to make, Hunter, and yours is the opportunity to set it right. I am on the trail, Source Hunter. May the hunt continue! I am on the trail, Source Hunter. Ask freely, my friend. Your city is far more wild than home forest. In here, a tiny screech woman, no swifter than a mudworm, might confine you into a tiny cage. And one must wait for a kind stranger to grant freedom. Jarrett, wise Jarrett, taught me the bird songs of your, our people. I have learned all the bird song that Jarrett could teach. I remembered every word. These tales have brought me much pleasure. The remembering of the beasts is without lies. We know not to approach the wasp's nest because long ago one bear mother discovered its dangers. This we do not remember Rito and the battle of the buzzing brutes. It is different between beasts and humans. I am lucky to enjoy both ways. He came to me when I was small, a fierce, wild one, yet unaware of the difference between the other cubs and herself. Jarrett visited me often. And in time, I learned his songs and more. When he built a small cabin within Home Forest, I hunted his food and fetched his water by day while he studied his books and his magics. Jarrett is my master and my friend, my teacher and myself. He teaches me and I care for him. I heard this was a place of many people, so here I came. But I have not found the face I seek. Jarrett is missing. It is my duty to find him. I watched countless of my loved ones die, rotted from the inside. When I ran to Jarrett to tell him what I had seen, his reaction was strange. He had the next morning. Jarrett did not emerge from his room. I left him be, but after three days I grew anxious. I broke down the door and inside his chamber was nothing. He was kidnapped and all his research was taken with him. The only clue I found was a letter among the scraps. I, I could not make out all the words, but I recognized the threat. D I do not know the one called Attenborough, but I know that if I am to find Jarrett, I must start there. Whoever this Attenborough may be, I believe he or she may know where Jarrett has been taken.
Rawr! <clears throat> that is, how can I help you, my friend? Fine, my friend. But I will stay far away from the Screech Woman. Ready to advance, ready to defend. What can I do for you, comrade? Tense and dugongs, you nearly startled me out of my boots. Ask away, my friend, ask away. All, frankly, it surprises me you lot are so eager to work with them. In my experience, they're kind of less reliable than used wagon sales dwarfs from Yuthal Gore. Heed me, comrade. You can't trust a wizard, witch, diviner. C come now, comrade, you ought to have better sense than to ask me why I despise the basest, cruelest, filthiest creatures in all of creation. Most of we source hunters can recall more than enough memories of the look of an orcish blade coming down between the eyes or the cold pressure of one of their studded clubs held to the temple. In that sense, I'm no different than any other. But the difference, well, I'll say this much. With age, one might forgive the soldiers in an enemy army, might see them as cogs in a machine, might witness the humanity within even the cruelest enemy. Even so, some acts of war are utterly unforgivable. I have memories, comrade. Memories jagged as splinters. Well, comrade, I've been around long enough, but not that long, mind, to know that little in this world can be split categorically into light and dark. My distrust of magic is instinctive after my years as a source hunter, but I also know that, at times, using the enemy against itself is the only way to make a lick of progress. So toss your cadaver elixirs and your illusion scrolls to high heavens, comrades. More than I'd hoped, comrade. I don't know what in tarnation's gotten into the townsfolk here, but there's enough dark magic running roughshod to topple a small mountain. There's Mayor Cecil's doings, for one, and the mysteries of our master Thaleron, for... And on top of it all, the feline menace is lurking at every hearth and shadow. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the Mayor's a decent sort. But from what I've heard whispered around the docks, the old guy's gotten himself mixed up in something not quite on this side of the law. I suspect an illegal source artifact or substance is the root of it, but exactly what or who's given it to him, I can't say. And since I... Fella seems like a humble doctor, but I'll bet my sword he's dealing in something darker and splints and tonics. A loose-lipped legionnaire let slip that she'd seen our good doctor scale the city wall on two separate occasions. Hardly the habit of an innocent healer, I'd say. You mean you don't already know, comrade? Their kind can see in the dark. It ain't natural. It's no coincidence the Order retired me, or tried to anyhow, to such an aptly named little town. Way back when, the settlement was chartered as a stronghold for source hunters to keep watch over the borders of the... Don't let the name fool you, though. These days, the forest is little more than a smattering of trees and ruins. In the days of old, though, the forest played host to source devils of every make and kind. By now, it's been centuries since anything more dangerous than a badger has come out of those woods. By and by, the source hunters moved out and regular folk... You call to Ulgraf. He awaits with a simple nod. The rogue seems to say, Shh. Ulgraf sighs and pulls parchment parts out of his pockets. He opts for the largest one he can find and sits down, pen in... When I was a kid, Friends and I used to play source hunters. One day, we saw strangers in the forest. My friends fled, but I followed them. I warned the source hunters in the city, caught the cutthroats. Source hunters called me a hero. I witnessed the hanging. Sorcerer spoke a spell before the trap door opened. I was mute, just like that. Always wanted to be a source hunter, but source hunters didn't want no mutiny order. Wolgraf frowns and signals you to hold on for an instant. He begins to write and gives you a scrap of paper. Not easy being mute. Can't talk and folks think you're slow in the head. No one ever gave me work, though I'm good with my hands. Was poor. Got hungry. Got thirsty. Stole stuff. Then got greedy. Became a cat burglar. Told you, I ain't bitter about it though. Like the rogue's life. Freedom. <laughs> Unless the law gets you. Haven't yet. Too nimble. Too good. Born for adventure. The rogue smiles broadly and dramatically produces the quill in question. He holds it aloft for all to admire, then jots down the following words. Saw a wizard once in the village up north, Hunter's Edge. 
wizard had nifty things. Brooms that sweep by themselves. Went into his house by night. Found Quill by spell books. Kept it. Never needed ink no more. Hands used to be black as chimney sweeps. Clean now. Clean of ink, that is. Not of thievery. Man's got to eat after all. You, again. Do feel free to depart from Sysiel at your earliest convenience. So, let me get this straight. There are insidious sorcerers running about town that turned a council ambassador into a zombie for sport after said councillor was murdered by some mystery witch who subsequently trotted off to her cabin in Lucula Woods. By Belagar's nevers. Sounds like a fantasy tale mothers tell their children before bed. And I bet none of it's more than fantasy either. Though no doubt Ahu puts stock in your every word. Anyway, be these truths, half-truths, or outright lies, it seems to me your business in Sysiel is concluded. Don't let the undead hit you on the way out. So much for your great escape. That's funny, private. Sir, no, sir. Beyond these walls, the dead roam free, Hunter. Be vigilant. Salutations. From the look of you, you're more than ready to head out into the undead infested wilds. But a party of one or two runs the risk of being outflanked and outnumbered. I sincerely hope you know what you're doing, Hunter. Right. Open her up, Legionnaires. Does the wind sound the same as a stray dog hungry for bones? <laughs> Who are you? Stay! This haunted yard is terrifying enough without you scaring the marrow out of me. To answer your question, my partner and I were part of an ill-fated cohort of legionnaires sent by Lieutenant Selenia to inspect this church. I suspect the eerie goings on at that very church for why Livia and I had strapped in our bones instead of 
tension about the Hall of Echoes right now. And I do mean strapped. Oh, what I give to see my... Oh! What was that? Phew. I thought I heard a zombie. As I was saying, oh, what I'd give to see my darling wife, Marissa, once more. My cuddly, waddly doodle pop. Light of my life. Fire of my flesh. Since I'm good as dead, I'd do anything to be able to deliver one final letter to my dear Marissa. If I tried to go back to civilization, though, I'd be sacked, speared, or smashed on sight. It rattles my bones. Say, you're alive. Heartbeat, squishy parts, and all. Perhaps you could d d deliver it for me. Just remember this is a private matter between man and wife. No, nope. you'll run into the entrance if you keep along this road. Though I wouldn't recommend it if you value ke keeping your skin attached to your face. The place is teeming with necromancers and the ghastly creatures they've been resurrecting. Lava, hellfire, a bone shrine. And that's only in the courtyard behind us. I'm afraid our troop never made it past the horror that lurks there. Tread lightly, will ya? Any sudden movement is liable to give Blossius there a heart attack. Or, you know, a rib attack. Well, who we are now is certainly different from who we used to be. We were elite soldiers, Blossius and I. Two troops in a regiment of Selenia's finest guards. We agreed to inspect this church. Selenia had an inkling the undead outbreak might have started here. And while we never completed our mission, I'm certain she was right. Near the bridge just beyond us, an undead monstrosity has made its own hellscape around a shrine of bones used for gods know what terrible purpose. Perhaps to control each of the ghouls that haunt these lands. Same as what happened to us. Partly, anyhow. We were lost trying to gain ground against the Molten Devil King presiding over the courtyard behind us. One of our soldiers ingeniously applied a piece of equipment to the ground, clearing a temporary path through the lava. Her plan seemed to work and we made progress into the Hellbeast's arena, but soon we were too far in with no way out. I've never felt heat like that before, Source Hunter. I've never felt fire in and through my skin, my sinews. And then we were all of us little more than bones. But it was only Blossius and I whose souls awoke in our skeletons once more. The rest remain where they collapsed. The Legion's best skilled fighters burnt bones beneath a broken turnip cart.
shadows. Did you hear that? It's just the wind. This death. like a cake. No glory in this death.
The flames will cleanse your sin. This is the end for you. Dragon's breath! The rabbit gives you a forlorn look. It seems as if it wants to speak to you, but the rabbit nods and points to the northeast. The cat that got its tongue must have wandered off in that direction. Mercy on your soul. Try to withstand this wintry blast. What a deluge.
toasty. You must burn clean. Death is its own deliverance! My boot soles. Seven have mercy on your soul.
now that's a trap tense and dugongs you nearly startled hold our enemies have lain a trap Now that's a yeah, trap. Now that's a it's trap. Devours me. Careful now. That's a trap. <gasps>
Well, what's this I've spotted? Careful now, that's a trap. Hold! Our enemies have lain a trap. Enemies have lain a trap. Hold! Our enemies have lain a trap. Look out! I see Hold. a trap nearby. Our enemies have lain a trap. Hold! smell like a hero. The hit I've got a bone to pick. Well, I've got no bones to pick, you see? My friend and I collected a quite big pile of edibles from these shambling undead. A smogger's boat on feet, I say. But a band of wild wolves chases off of it. If you follow me, I'll lead you straight to them. I bet a hero like you could shake them off in a matter of minutes. I'll lead the way, hero. Mercy on your soul.
carrots and these parts. Here, a wee wanderer wandering after a wonderful wishing well. I'm Walter Wellington McWishing Well. Well met. Won't you call me Wally, though? It was that my brother William, why he was a winsome well, would hand out wishes with me. But he's since been whisked off to somewhere wild and wintry, and poor Wally's been left to whinge and wax all by his onesie. Oh, my poor wayward William. He was snatched away by the wicked Winter King and whisked into a wild world of whirling snow. I wonder, would you be willing to take a whack at bringing Willie back? I would weep wishes for weeks if I could see him again. I can teleport you to the Winterland right now. Well, you know where to find me when you wish to go. Oh, my poor wayward William. He was sn- I wonder. Would you be willing to take a whack at bringing Willie back? I would weep wishes for weeks if I could see him again. I can teleport you to the Winterland right now. Well, you know where to find me when you wish to go. I wish you well.
your demise! Careful! I've spotted a trap! I thought this shack would be abandoned, but it seems to be recently used. And it has its very own foreboding hatch. your fear.
Resurrector, so that the powers that rest in me, the power of a guardian of the all have they risen, the guardians of Bracchus, I, his night commander, and his horrors too, the ghoul that guards the lighthouse, and the twins by fire joined. We welcomed him, the animator of our bones, for his intent is glorious. Bracchus Rex, he is to you, insolent filth, deep beneath the earth he lies. But soon the very clouds will stoop to his will, and indeed you shall not, defiler of bare-boned empresses. My hallowed revitalizer shall raise Bracchus Rex and thereby restore sorcery to the land. My own legions grow with the cessation of every heartbeat and the stirring of bloodless flesh and bone. Accept my command. The com Resist, as I know you will, and your skulls will look on through eyeless sockets as the rest of your skeletal remains will be employed to amuse my undead dogs. Arise, my vassals! The Baron of Bones demands your fealty!
<laughs> this cannot be! But it is of no real matter, vile intruder, you! Bracchus Rex will raise him again! No glory in this death. Good to see you again, Source Hunter. I shall be very glad to share what information I can give you. By all means. We lost another four bra My legionnaires. They all perished? How fate has treated them wantonly. And if it weren't for you, the archaeologist would surely have died as well. He has much to be thankful for. Were that I had. For two years, all news has been still. I thank you for telling me, Source Hunter. Knowledge is better than uncertainty. So good to see you again, Source Hunter. So I did. The chances of survival, they must come from Lieutenant Selene. Now I said, and that is, I shall be very glad to. By all means.
Hello again, adventurer. I hope you wiped those muddy boots on your way in. You say you met him? Was he well? Did he look hungry to you? Cold? Was he eating enough vegetables? Did he wash his hands before supper? Oh, please. Never fine. The night I suppose we should tell her the truth about her brother. She'll be devastated. But at least she won't waste her life waiting for a ghost. Yes, it's a bitter truth, but one we can't conscionably keep to ourselves. I, I can't. That's impossible. You, you must be mistaken. Tom was a daring boy, but an adroit one too. Ch check your facts before you spread such horrible lies. Tom's alive. Do you hear me? I think these books... Wow, that dead sheep smells pretty great. I mean, wow. <laughs> but it's nothing compared to Jake. Seems like some... Wait! You mean Jake's still alive? Alive? That's not Esmeralda. Blah. Terrible smell. Jake has the best smell. I'd know it anywhere. Evelyn, I always thought her stink was a pretty good stink. Let me give that a sniff. Whoa! This smells awesome! Too awesome! This has Jake's scent all over it. <laughs> Peace be with you, traveller. I once lived a prosperous life with my husband and our happy little daughter, Loni. Loni never recovered from the loss. And when a group of mercenaries, predators, more aptly called, came to town, she were killed less than a week after she joined. Here lies Helen, killed by an enraged Rest zombie. In peace. I'm Daddy. sure we can talk this out. Sorry, sir. I'm overheating here. Mmm. -hmm. 